In the last week, we have gone from the 80s to a fox watch last morning to tornadoes over the weekend, well, Easter, and now we are under a freeze watch. <laughs> and yet, by the end of the week, we will be back in the 70s. Welcome to Tennessee. The sun is actually coming out today and it is turning into quite a lovely day. I never get tired of this view. And everything out here pretty much made it through the weather all right. We didn't lose any of the garden beds. The trench we had to dig out a little bit more just to divert the water because we got so much of it. The animals all made it perfectly fine. We actually came down quite a few times to check on them. We had quite a bit of a riverbed running down between the coops, but everyone was able to get up off the ground and we tried to do our best to divert it. And I actually pulled out a couple tarps to put over the duck pad just to kind of keep some of the water off of them. But tonight we will be back out here covering up everything. Um, technically covering your plants during a freeze isn't supposed to help but we're gonna try it anyway um, um yeah we're gonna have to do quite a bit more than just the ones that we covered for the frost everything is gonna have to be covered we have to respray the trees um so hopefully dad can do that when he gets home if not i'll take over um that's kind of what's going on around here The garden is looking really good, including the weeds. Uh, I've got to get back out here and reweed it, but everything is growing amazing. This garlic, it's a second bed, right there. That's the first time we've done garlic like that, and it looks amazing. You'll have to excuse my voice, I'm sick. Um, but everything out here is doing so good. The potatoes, I don't know if you can see that far down, but they've gotten huge. We're gonna, when all the craziness stops around here and we have some extra time, we're gonna actually add another layer of compost to the potatoes so that they can grow instead of, we didn't dig the ground underneath it. Be nice, you guys. We didn't dig underneath our potato beds, so we are growing them in the compost above it and not doing that makes them grow towards the surface more. So we're going to need more compost on top of it to keep them. And we'll have to replace quite a bit over the years, or over the months until they're ready to harvest. Looks like we got a river going through right here. Have to grab the rake and scrape it back out. But we'll mound up a little bit more compost around the plants just so that the potatoes don't end up in the sunlight and turn green. Everything else is looking really good out here. Really pull weeds. We've got peas on either side of this row right here, and they're doing pretty good despite the fact that the wall has fallen on them three times. Can't get over how well these blackberries are doing. Look at all these flowers. We put these in probably June last year. So they are doing fabulous. We covered around, this is our berry patch, but we put cardboard around all the plants and then just covered it in compost. Um, and they all look really, really good. This variety of blackberry actually, depending on where you live, should produce twice in a year, which is amazing. Charlotte, you having fun? What are you doing? She's my little garden buddy. Wherever I go, she goes. Faith has not gotten out of bed yet. And these carrots that we put in are looking amazing. Look at that. Mom and I came out and weeded the rows so that we can kind of see what we've got and where we can plant more. I just cannot get over how well they look. Okay, so some of you probably noticed 
the ugly tarps up here and we put those all over our beds because we're trying to smother the crabgrass. Um, crabgrass is super invasive and really a pain in the neck. Um, it's really hard to pull out and the easiest way to deal with it is to smother it and we're having an issue with it coming through the cardboard where most of it is uh, just seeds that were in the compost to the crabgrass is coming from underneath. So we are going to try to smother that. And the easiest way to do that is like a tarp or more cardboard, but we're out of cardboard. So we are using what we have. Lottie, what are you eating? This is our first year growing rhubarb and actually asparagus, which is in this bed up here. Um, you can kind of see the frilly tops off of them. But um, this is our first year and they are doing really well. You're not supposed to harvest them the first year, which dad is really, really disappointed about. But we've got three of them in this bed down here and they actually kind of prefer the shade. So we, well, dad went ahead and built another raised bed up under the trees more so they've got more filtered light and they're a little bit more sheltered um, and they are looking really good can't wait to see what they do i need to pull this weed but i can't wait to see how they do i know a lot of people have commented on our arbors and these are something that dad actually designed and built um, pretty easy I need to get him to do a tutorial on how to do these and we just painted them white and we grow everything from cantaloupe to cucumbers to just about anything that needs a trellis on these um, and if you wanted to grow something like beans or peas you could even take the slats down lower or you know run twine or something around the end the bottom of it I don't know if you can see the dirt tracks but this is how much of a river we had going that all that brown stuff on top of the grass used to be up there around the coops pretty weird huh you can never believe how much water comes through here when we get storms like that I need to top this it's starting to go to seed it's been rather warm not right now but it's been warm lately so this is more of a colder liking plant it doesn't like it when it gets real warm and the best way to keep it producing so you don't have it going to seed on you is to keep diligently cutting it back you don't want to take the whole plant just probably a third at a time or you can kind of see the difference up here between this leaf and this leaf this is where it's starting to go to seed It is 48 degrees and there is white stuff coming down from the sky. Looks kind of like Narnia. Not in a good way though. Hard to believe that just a couple of days ago it was 80 degrees. And that's a wrap. No pun intended. Because it's a freeze and not a frost, we are covering much more than we normally would. Uh, stuff that we'd leave just under the cover of trees, we covered also, just to try to give it a fighting chance. I need to get this video finished so I can get it uploaded. Uh, but I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of beauty before I close this video down. Goodbye for now from the cottage.